It took some work, but apparently the Resistance managed to disable a UFO that set down in this area. Unfortunately for them, alien reinforcements moved in before they had a chance to pull anything off the ship. We're heading in to take whatever we can. Secure the site and eliminate all hostile contacts. Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. And a landed UFO here. Menace 1 5, UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area, neutralize all hostiles. If we can pull this one off, that's going to be a huge win for the campaign. Um, of course, we prevent enemy strength from landing on the planet. We get a bunch of corpses, we get a bunch of XP, we get a bunch of supplies, alloys, crystals, all that good stuff. But it's, um, you know, early of all, high risk, high reward kind of missions. And most importantly, we are here with six people only, so we gotta, we gotta play it smart. For a change, not like you know all the other missions where I'm not playing it smart. No, shut up, just play. Um, Feindlicher Trupp entdeckt. All right, I see a snake. I saw a priest, cryo priest. That is. Let's get let's get rumped up here. Location confirmed. I think I want to spot a little bit also here, so let's get there, Daddy home over there. Running. And ideally, of course, if we can get some sort of opening with that flamethrower here, that would be ideal. Ideally, that would be ideal. Mm, yes, okay. No slacking off! So we get 19 to 21 enemies. Understood. Moving out. Scanning. Okay, a bunch of snakes, sectoid, and that priest. Nothing super scary in that group. Which, you know, as always, it's an easy first part, but it's also... Is this the group we want to use our our concealment pop on? Ooh, isolated turret just standing there. It's uh, somewhat uncommon, not completely unheard of. Some shutdown chance. Probably move you out of the way. And actually, I think I want to move Natalie exactly to that spot. And we can reach that. So yeah, let's get you out of the way. Get you to that spot. There now. You do have a shot on the turret, so that might just be actually what we're gonna do with you. And let's think about this. Um, let's actually bring you over to this side. So we're kind of engaging in a in a firefight from here to here and then you can t maybe take a squad side flank shot uh, assuming I can actually find a space for spawner spar who is in here okay so if they continue I hope they continue to move forward here we get a nice flamethrower we snipe the Scan. turret Easy cleanup. While keeping our, our tech specialist concealed. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted you to go.
might actually be a little bit too close. I don't think I can get all of them in a flamethrower now. Get four. Not getting the sidewinder. Hmm. Anyway, I can get the sidewinder and three others still. Not getting the cryo priest. Which I think is the easier pickup. No point overwatching since I get two shots without overwatch. Um, I still think he. Well. You could take care of the turret or just hack the turret. Let's keep the hack for something else. We take, we snipe the turret, assuming we can kill the cry priest. Okay, we'll take this. We'll take this. Five enemies down. Just gotta find that one pixel again. Let's execute him. Sidebinder is really doing, making some weird decisions here. Okay, anyway. Uh, turret. That's right. All day long. Good hit, but not good enough. Just gonna walk around the corner. Right, kill the crime priest. There you go. Everything else is burning, um, but I think we take a little bit of an extra shot. Sight. Sight one is probably the most likely to die, right? Because two takes of one to three damage. My only concern is the side when it's so far, so close to my specialist. Position bestätigt. Just don't want him to get revealed here. Okay, so six HP on the sectoids and on this viper. I think we're just gonna shoot that on shoot that order. sectoid there. Going for two. For one over here. And one here. I was hoping he would burn at least for two. And I heard a door open up. Probably over there. Yeah, but you went back into the stupid position. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. This might be useful. By the numbers. It's tree burnt down. That's great, because otherwise it would have been somewhat difficult to get to him. Let me actually move up for here first. Don't see what opened the door. Yeah, we can actually move here once the snake is dead to pick up all the loot. 
Oh, our tree also burned down. Ah, it's kind of awkward. Um, I'm going to be standing out in the open, but this tree is between me and the UFO. I think that's that's fine. The death of an old mask shall form the foundation of a stronger. See there. Still nothing spotted. Raiders roll. Let's see a sectoid in the back there. Well, that just happened. Moving to position. X-ray neutralized. I'm running low on ammo. I hope it's worth it. Moving to Overwatch. <sighs> Big nasty group. How about we do exactly the same thing again? Um, well, first things first. I'm gonna throw an evac. I'm pulling back. Just to have a safety evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Alright. So I'll slightly disengage from that group and give a ghost grenade to Natalie. It is clear. I'm out here. Um, so I'm thinking going somewhere over here. This is super risky. This might be too far away from where they're moving to. Maybe actually here. I uh, could get flanked also. I mean, this is, we've got incinerator, we've got fairly good range, so I'm feeling like this is probably a good move. Yeah. Let's just make sure we're not running into anyone else here. Right. Get over there. Now, I don't want to be too far in the back. an eye on everything and here's the question 64 is the haywire on the frost max now frost max fantastic by the way we could you can burn frost max and fire will disable them uh, that being said i think i'm just gonna do a system infiltration on all of them make them a little bit easier to hack Now, this is normally not uh, for a Hunter place, but at least it's... Hunter is kind of a little bit awkward until they get um, the reload after remove thing. Come and get some. Running on empty. <clears throat> okay, so my, my gamble didn't quite uh, pay off here. I'm not getting a good flamethrower. Can get like two and a half tiles closer. Three, I can get three tiles closer here, which would give me like these these two. Now, what are my options here? I think one option, uh, or the best option, I don't think you have, you're not an officer yet, okay. Let's 
So maybe the best option is to just snipe. Snipe the biggest threat, which is probably the Muton, and see how they move. There's not super much great cover, so maybe they move into a formation where I can then get revealed from stealth and still flamethrower a bunch of them and deal with the rest. They have nobody in range, so they will move forwards. The mech will not overwatch, so maybe we have a position where we can take two shots at a mech with Spurner. We do have the the frost frost protocol here also. And I need the crit and kinda need the not minimum damage crit. Yeah, or maybe you just get frost protocol. Okay, so we do have a three target flamethrower here. Maybe four targets. Yeah, no, I don't think takedown is the right choice. Um, I think we we have to kind of ignore these two. They do whatever they do. Then he comes over here probably and flamethrowers the sector at the Viper and this Frost Mech. We hack or something this guy. Frost Protocol here. Either. Oof, that's not a great shot. Um, not, not a great chance. This is the one we we hacked. Possible intel located. Who's your buddy? Maybe that's the better option then. Give it teamwork so you can move up and take two shots at the Frost Mag. We will overcome. What's over there? To go. That kind of makes me now confident enough, I think, to move here and do the flamethrower. I just need to make sure I actually hit them. That will be fine. <laughs> will be not fine. I guess we have three uncontrolled sectoids. Anytime you're ready. And we also kind of need the kill here. Okay. Need more mana, partner. Uh, 
that. So I think we're gonna give a an aid protocol here. Which puts all the other protocols on cooldown. I remember how that worked. Okay. It has a chance that one of them runs over here to this side and then reveals me, so I think I'll just hunker down. Well, there's a chance that no, it's guaranteed to happen. It's like he did review me and he ended his turn in, in the smoke. Zombie's fine. I was going to say, we can just disorient him with the guy who's about to get panicked. This is, this is an acceptable hey, outcome. Me. This is not so necessarily. Here. Oh, it's just all guys, okay. Who do we need to kill most importantly? Whoever the panicking guy was? Which I honestly don't remember. So you're the zombie guy. First things first. You're gonna need a reload. Good to go. Your best shot is a 47 on that snake. Ooh, those are all terrible. I'm on it. I think he's the one panicking me. Quite enough. We gotta take this thing out. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take this thing out indeed. The only chance to do that is from kinda over here. I'm going. Big deal. Panic removed, okay. So I do have actions here. Uh, which probably then means you're gonna fall back. So maybe, actually, uh, even though you have just bad shots, you still have a good shot on the zombie. I got a piece. It's not enough.
Natürlich. Okay, um, Natalie needs to move away from this position, right? So we could do a takedown on the snake, and then we still have a move to get behind full cover somewhere here. This is in smacking distance of the zombie, which I don't like. So I'm thinking actually you have to kill the zombie. You have to kill the zombie. You have to shut down the mech. We take down the snake. Weather the storm. Gunner, trooper, sidewinder, cry rocketeer. Cry rocketeer is scary, but it's he's super far back. I don't think he can he can rocket me. Yeah. Alternatively. Could always disorient the sector to make the zombie. Yeah, I think I think this is the battle. Hostile target down. Probably here. And let me just double check one thing. You're still burning for two turns. I don't have to, you know, fade a shutdown here. I can just, I think I will actually just add a combat protocol and then burn damage might just be enough to kill you over two turns. Or over one turn. Yep, mind control, not great. Double move, that's okay. Same thing for the snake. He's in my... I can't... can't stop it! Okay, we don't see the guy right now, but we should be able to just blinding protocol him. Like old times. You have a percent shot on this guy. Um, before we blind them, let's see if you have Rock anything. 26. So, so of course, we're getting these awful shots because squats are a snapshot. If something is further away, is gonna, just going to be awful. Um, 
options are we could just steady and take a regular sniper shot next turn then at full range or we could start moving up to take shots at not quite sniper range but i think we're better off steadying all right then in that case <clears throat> don't have sight for blinding. Oh, I'm not even sure if you can... Can you do it? You can't do it on squad side range. You need to have direct line of sight. Get rid of the Overwatch. Hang on, the gunner shot you, right? Shot Spana. So he, if he, as soon as he's no longer in mind control, he should be able to see the gunner. So I can actually use Daddy Home to shoot on the trooper and clear the Overwatch instead. Okay. So then we'll I think I'm actually gonna move up and shoot the sectoid yeah. with a frost shot. That's disappointing. In that case, I get I it. Okay. Hit leaving the sidewinder alive, but I don't think she has any good good positions to flank anyone from. The gunner. Only Wingdom. Happy now. Okay. Sectoid, Cry Rocketeer, Sidewinder. And blind one of them. I can't can't blind the cry rocket here, at least not for my coin spot. And a rocket from him would be really bad. Also we're losing a lot of loot, but that's that's fine. Uh, so what's worse? Getting hit... well, of course getting hit by the rocket is worse than getting hit by the sidewinder. So I think we come up and blind this guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
mich vergiftet. Was ins Bett? Eine Shot. Missing. Alright. That's fine. Vom Hot Frost und Frost Action. Let's see if we can just frost protocol that snake. I'm kind of missing your cover here in this in this shot. Okay, you're still in cover. Good. And then we follow up with a grenade. Heads down. Let's cool down on takedown. You're in a poison cloud. Too bad. Oh, I don't like. No, your place is infection day. Don't like getting additional icons here suddenly. Okay, you've got an inspection day all the way back here in a second. Pretty cool. It is clear. Okay, what are you looking at? It's ninety one. I think we're gonna take a we got to reload. We get Shadow up next turn. Let's see if we can finish off that rocket here. Okay, wonderful. Hell yeah. Zombie should not be in range to hit anyone this turn. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's fine. But I don't think Natalie can stay here. Like the plan was, of course, to shoot shoot this guy. So yeah, I'm not even sure. Uh, do I just take a shot here? I think we just overwatch if the sector moves. It's a cryo priest, not a rocketeer. There's a gunner, sorcerer. Sorcerer, priest, gunner, sectoid, zombie, probably number five. Mir entgeht nichts. Okay, if you panic me and I'll hunker, no, okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay, you're killing the gunner. It's fine. I, I never liked him anyway. Hey. 
Das ist nicht gut. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Kat! Fight it! Okay. So we kinda need to kill that sectoid. Or at least disorient him. I don't have any protocol. Now I'm getting poisoned. Like last turn, I was not getting poisoned when moving through, and now I'm getting poisoned. Let's do this. And get a flank on the sectoid here. Okay. Risky flank of the day. Raiders roll. If you get the kill, you stay concealed. And everything's great. If you don't get the kill, you're sitting there in the open. Can we do anything to help? I'm dying off. Yeah. I would see the sector right here, I don't. I think I'm just gonna take the 36 here. Maybe we get a race. And then we get a guaranteed kill here. Also, also blood thing I'm about. Blood trail. I'm low on mana. Right, um Sorcerer. Bit excessive. Sorcerer, or a priest. And I can't do anything there. Uh, all right, I think we're just gonna reload and shoot him here. Reloaded. Nice. Terminated. Ich bin bereit. Feuerschutz. Leaves us with. The sorcerer and the zombie there. On it. And we have five five turns to get the bloody heck in. I don't know what psionic miasma is, but I don't like the sound of that. Great increase defense by scaring the risen from sides. K. Okay. Like. Okay, you are you are yeah basically in your psionic smoke cloud, but your body is an idiot because he's just standing there. Hello. I didn't see you before. 
yeah, whatever. Um, hang on. I think we get some underbarrel grenade launcher value, maybe. Uh, dude, dude's gonna die this turn. So let's get the grenade launcher shred in. Fire in the hole. Shut up. Okay. No checkbox here. It's not neutralized, although I'm not actually sure, now that I say that, if it just never fills out because technically there will be reinforcements if you don't hack. Sounds like a plan. You also fail the mission if you don't hack, but... Okay. With tracking, we know that there's at least nothing nearby. I'm assuming if something is there, maybe on the other side of the UFO, maybe behind, don't know, don't care. Los, los, los. Get the heck in. Affirmative. You to move up, move up, meet up with the rest of the squad. Ready to rock. I had, I had um, speed loader on you. Copy that. Scanning. Go on the offensive. Uh, I don't think there was an alien turn though, so maybe it's really just just a hack. Wird gemacht. Good to go. Kick ass. Solid copy. I'm all over it. Don't mess with the bourbon cowboy. Yeah, no, there's no there's no enemy turn, so we can just chill in here. Check the hack. Resistance broadcast or resistance broadcast. There's no reason not to do a little system infiltration then, I guess. Well, I guess willpower is a reason. I'll just evac everybody else. Yeah, get out here. Running. Good job, everyone. Uh, don't fall behind. Moving out. Infiltrate the system. I mean, resistance broadcast is not really a super high value thing, but hey, if we can get an extra reward out of this, besides a bunch of corpses, bunch of loot. And no wounds? I'll take it. Any day of the week. And twice on Sundays. Um, and we get to hear Bradford whine about, oh, minus one five, you really need to hack the thing now. That's like, yeah. He's not whining? Okay. Let's take one guaranteed faceless instead of two potent. Yeah, okay. Good choice, good choice. Not being super greedy. Captain, we knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I wonder if they kind of have this little brick wall um, on the Avenger, on the on the Sky Ranger, and they should just carry it out for the photo op and then bring it back in. Look, I'm not questioning the guys. They killed all the aliens, didn't take a single wound. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by 
by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration... I can't imagine the aliens are too happy about this one, Commander. Hell of a job. Nobody's tired. I mean, the willpower here is looking a little bit grim, but everyone else... Probably fresh for another mission. Alright, um... Perks, perks, perks. Oh, now, um, as per feedback, I'm gonna show all the available perks and then what we're taking. Um, we got Executioner, we got Fortify, and we got Non Shall Pass here. Um, non Shall Pass is a automatic overwatch shot with your shotgun if something gets close. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I'm actually still not sure about Fortify versus, versus Executioner. I did put the marker here on Fortify, but the more I think about it, Fortify helps you to actually stay in Overwatch, so you get your free shots off, but it has a five turn cooldown, which is kind of too long, right? For 20 defense at Staff Sergeant, compared with something like 8 Protocol, which gives 20, 25, 30 defense every other turn. It just doesn't feel good enough. Maybe just ex take Executioner to help a little bit finishing off some enemies. I think in the mission just now, Executioner would have really helped with some of those kill shots on the gunner, on some sectoids. We hit them anyway, but you know, turning a 94 into a 100 really uh, helps to keep the blood pressure down. Um, yeah. I just don't like um, non shell pass because I have limited ammo for the double barreled and I don't want it to be used up by something with, where it's not necessary. You know, like, I don't know, you're on a mission and a random lost runs at you but doesn't attack you and he's immediately like, oh no, this far, no further. <coughs> okay. Our frost. Technician can get 40 below. Cold attacks do increasingly more damage the more chill the target is. Um, stealth protocol to give a friendly unit concealment or Trojan. Holy crap. So. If this works the way I think it works, right? You strike twice for 60% damage. Each attack applies a cold effect. So with 40 below, then the second part should do even more damage, right? Because I'm, I'm really starting to... Uh, get concerned about how often are we actually attacking a, a, a chilled or frozen target. And those are really good perks that I'm leaving on the table. Uh, I think I, I need to, I need to just play around with it to see like I'm still not sold on any of the bullet arts classes, so let's commit to one at least a little bit more to either confirm or not confirm my um, impression. Okay, and here we get running on empty. Uh, if you move while out of ammo, reload one ammo. This is kind of what actually makes this weapon really usable. Like every turn you just move, shoot, move, shoot. <clears throat> um, opposite are bullseye and executioner. <clears throat> Now, Executioner is obviously more for if you go melee hunter. And then this is more the classical sniper hunter. Which might also work, but running on empty is then the, the crit sniper hunter with auto rifles. Okay, in terms of loot and corpses... I think the only thing that's really great was a mutant corpse. Sorcerer corpse is kind of hard to get. 
everything else, yeah, nice to have. And it did... Were we elevated before? Well, now we're definitely elevated. I mean, if we just add up the vigilance that we are causing in those three regions, we are already at 29. And there's 13 more regions. Um, right? There's 16, 16 regions in the world. Yes, yes, 16 regions. So if all of our regions are at Vigilance 1, which they are not, we would already be at 42 Vigilance, so higher Vigilance than Strength. So we might be getting into some trouble with uh, UFOs here. But that's fine, right? Okay, so we do have this mission that we need to infiltrate. And this is the lip one that's gonna expire and cycle, so we also kinda wanna do that. Um, before we do anything though, well, let me actually fly over to Western US. That should be enough time for mech weapons to complete. Don't care. Uh, and on a third thought, let's actually fly to the black market first. Avenger plotting new course. Because for 68 supplies, we're not getting any mech weapons. The market is open. You want death perception, PCS. You already have death perception. Um, who else? I think I gave you, no? Did I give Daddy Home a death perception? Which is not primary target, but... I thought I gave somebody else also a death perception. Doesn't matter, but I think... I think we're kind of good and can actually sell them. Market is open. Paying twice for that. Paying double the normal pro cost. I think that's fair. Then let's sell like yeah, I don't know, seven cores. Then if we wait a second here. I wish there was a way to speed up time. I want magnetic weapons to complete to see if we get any um, instant autopsies. One tiger. We'll be pressing the button that makes the game speed faster. We really have to wait until until twelve. You're going to zero? But you're not Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, no, the shooting cutscene. Oh. Bunch of new weapons. 
advanced mech weapons inspired. Oh yeah, we got the new gene mod available. There's something something wrong with the um, this pop up, and I'll have to bug illogical. What's what's going on there? Um, no instant autopsies. Okay. Um, So a lot of stuff that we actually need. We need definitely Stun Lancer and Omuton to upgrade our melee weapons, but we kinda also need combat armor. Magnetic weapons, advanced magnetic weapons being inspired is great, but I think we need we need armor and we need the upgraded upgraded stuff here. So Muton is for um Viper Blade, Arc Blade, Ionic Ripjack, which we don't care about. Um, and the Plasma Edged Sword and this kind of stuff. So most melee weapons. Stun Lancer is for the Tempest Gauntlets for a Templar upgrade. Um, Right, but in this campaign, we don't have a Templar yet. I'm still getting a little bit confused between between campaigns here. Okay, so I think we can delay stun and autopsy. And question is then, do we do Muton first? We could also do Sedated and get Hybrid Alien Sword Tech, which we can do in the Proving Ground, which gives us also good swords. Do we do combat armor first and just weather out with a few worse swords? Uh, let me actually check here. Commander. Inventory. We only have two mutant corpses. Five sedated corpses. Yeah, I think we're doing the sedatives. And then combat armor, and then we'll probably do advanced mech. Um, bit of an unusual timing, but I will put a cut in here. I'll figure out a little bit in the barracks um, how we infiltrate this mission, and then next episode we'll probably do this mission grab here. But um, for for external reasons, I have to make a cut here on the recording side. So I'll I'll do like five minutes off camera. Um, all right, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.